Hi guys, today I am here for uh, the next exercise of uh, the class 10th chapter that is surface area and volume. We are done with the uh, you know, exercise first of this particular chapter. So we will quickly move on to the second exercise because the exams are coming pretty fast. So we will have exams pretty soon. So let's get started for the new faces. If you don't know me, my name is Kong and this is Posh Coaching Classes. Please do consider subscribing to this channel and uh, let's move ahead and today we are talking about exercise 13.2 we have a uh, few questions in this exercise and in this chapter we will be talking about or in this exercise precisely we will be talking about the volume in the previous exercise we spoke about uh, surface area now this exercise is all about volume so let's see it's exercise 13.2 and we will go ahead with question number one and what does the question say it says a solid is in the shape of a cone standing on a hemisphere with both their radii equal to one centimeter so we have a cone and then we have a hemisphere so what exactly it says it says the height of the cone is one centimeter and even the radius of the cone is one centimeter so if i take this as radius this also will be one centimeter okay now find the volume of the solid in terms of pi so whatever the answer we will get it should be in pi so we will not put the value 22 upon 7 so let's see what else is given first of all let's see what is given so we have a cone and a hemisphere so the height of the cone is one centimeter then we have radius of hemisphere that is one centimeter even it will be the same for cone the radius of cone is one centimeter now we have to find the total volume of the solid right this is the actual thing and we need to find the volume so that means it is volume of cone and then we have to add volume of hemisphere right because these two together will complete this so let's see volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h and volume of hemisphere is 2 uh, it's 2 upon 3 pi r cube clear guys now what else we can do I can leave this as it is pi we need the answer in pi so let's leave it as it is the radius is one centimeter so one squared even the height is one centimeter so one then we have two upon three pi will be as it is the radius is one cube so what do we have it is one upon three pi this is finished then we have plus two upon three pi let's take the LCN it is pi plus 2 pi now what do we have we have 3 pi upon 3 so the total volume of the solid will be exactly pi i hope this is clear guys pretty simple question so we use two formulas let's do one thing let's try and remember these formulas so what we did we used volume of cone so that is 1 by 3 pi r square h the second one was volume of hemisphere that is 2 upon 3 pi r cube so this is question number one and we are done with this pretty simple question please make a note of this question and uh, memorize the formulas as well we will be using these formulas in our uh, you know next questions as well so please make a note of this i'll move to the second one all right guys so let's move to the question number two of this exercise that says rachel an engineering stu student was asked to make a model shaped like a cylinder with two cones attached to its ends okay so we have a student an engineering student named rachel and she is making a model 
and that is somewhat like this means it has a cylinder and we have cones at both the ends these are the cones we are talking about okay now what else it says the diameter of the model is 3 cm and the length is 12 cm so this complete thing is 12 cm and this thing is 3 cm anything else guys okay 3 cm if each of the cone has a height of 2 cm we have the height of cone as well so this is 2 cm similarly we have the same thing here this is 2 cm so let's try and simplify this so first of all we have the total length and what is that that is 12 cm then we have height of cones both have the same height that is 3 cm then we have is that the height okay height of the cone is 2 cm then the diameter is 3 cm so obviously radius will be 3 upon 2 cm right guys now what it says it says find the volume of the air contained in the model that Rachel has made so we need to find the volume so for that we will say total volume will be volume of cylinder and then plus we have two cones so we'll put two into volume of cone right we have another formula here so we use these two we have another one volume of cylinder that is pi r square h let me put it here volume of cylinder is pi r square h and then 2 as it is volume of cone is 1 upon 3 pi r square h that's the formula it is pi r square h for the cylinder and 2 by 3 pi r square h for the volume but if you see here this is for the cylinder so height of the cylinder will be this thing that is 8 so let me put this as h1 and then we have the height of the cone height of the cone is 2 cm let me put this as 2 so height of the cone this is h2 right guys now let me see if i can take anything common so pi is common then we have r square common h1 and h2 they're different so they will not be common so it is h1 then we have 2 upon 3 h2 right guys so pi will be 22 upon 7 r square r is 3 upon 2 that is 2 times then we have h1 h1 is 8 plus 2 upon 3 h2 is 2 now this is 2 11 11 into 9 3 to the 9 99 upon 14 and then we have 8 plus 4 upon 3 let me see what do we have it is 99 upon 14 then we have LCM 3, it is 3 at 24 plus 4. So what do we get? It is 99 upon 14, 28 upon 3. 3, 3, 33, 14, 2. So 32, 3 into 2 is 66 centimeter cube is the total volume. I hope this is clear guys. So in this question we use another formula that is volume of the cylinder and the volume of cone we used in our previous uh, uh, question as well so we just put the values there and it was quite simple right guys so please make a note of this one as well and we will move to the next question right guys so now the next question it says a gulab jamun so we are talking about gulab jamun something sweet okay so let's go ahead and see what it says a gulab jamun contains sugar syrup up to about 30 percent of its volume so the sugar syrup is about 30 percent we'll talk about that later but before that what it says find approximately how much syrup would be found in 45 gulab jamun so we have to talk about 45 gulab jamun 
each shaped like a cylinder with two hemispherical ends with length 5 cm and diameter 2.8. So let's see, first of all, it's talking about a gulab jamun and it says it's in the shape of a cylinder and then we have hemispheres here. So it's quite a big gulab jamun guys. So but anyways, we're talking about simple question here. So let's see now what it says. Okay. So let's put it as this. Okay. Let's make it a little cleaner. Just I'll put one dotted line here. Now it will be much clearer. So what it says, it says the total length is five centimeters so this is five centimeter okay guys now what else it says it says and the diameter so the diameter this thing is 2.8 centimeter okay so let's see what it says it says length total length is five centimeter diameter is 2.8 centimeter obviously radius will be 2.8 upon 2 centimeter that is 1.4 centimeter so obviously this particular thing is 1.4 centimeter similarly this is 1.4 centimeter so now we'll talk about the height of the cylinder as well height of the cylinder is for example okay the total height is 5 so I'll put it as 5 then we will deduct this 1.4 and 1.4 so that becomes 2.8 centimeter that is 2.2 centimeter right that is the height I hope you got this this and this thing we deducted so now this part is 2.2 centimeter now let's see the volume we are talking about one gulab jamun mind you so the volume of cylinder of the gulab jamun so what are we having there we are having one cylinder so that means volume of cylinder plus twice volume of hemisphere right guys volume of cylinder pi r square h twice volume of hemisphere 2 upon 3 pi r cube right guys so these are the formulas so what we can do the first thing let me take pi r square out what do i have i have h 2 multiplied to 4 upon 3 pi is out r square is out we i have just one r here now pi 22 upon 7 i believe if it is given yes it is 22 upon 7 r square the radius is 1.4 so let me put 14 upon 10 here and then height height is 2.2 we are talking about the height of the cylinder, so that is 2.2, that is 22 upon 10, plus 4 upon 3 r, r is 1, 14 upon 10. Right guys, so now 7, 2, so it is 22 into 2 into 14 upon 100, then what do we have here, it is 22 upon 10 plus 56 upon 30. 4, 4, 16, 1, 4, 4, 5. Right? Now, this is 44, 22 multiplied by 2 into 14 upon 100. And here, let's take the LCM 30. So 10 multiplied by 3, 30. 3 into 2 is 66. Then 56. What do we have now? So, 44, let me leave it as it is, upon 14, multiply by 14 upon 100, then multiply by 66 and 56, 12, just 12, 122 upon 30, right guys? 
Now, can we cancel things? Yes, we can. 215, 222. Okay. 211, 250. Right? 27, 225. That's an RB. Yeah, that's about it. Now, what do we have? We have 11 into 7 into 122 upon 25 into 15. Let's see what do we get. So it says we have to multiply 11 into 7 is 77 multiplied by 122 is 9394 upon 25 into 15. 25 into 15 is 375. Now if we divide 9394 upon 375 we get 25.05 so what do we get we get 25.05 centimeter cube but guys listen this is volume of one gulab jamun that is 25.05 centimeter cube but are we done with the question no we are not so please make a note of this one and i will move further so we have few more things left here so please make a note of this so this is volume of one gulab jamun now we have 45 gulab jamuns so total gulab jamuns Forty-five. Therefore, total volume it will be twenty-five point zero five centimeter cube into forty-five. So, if we multiply twenty-five point zero five into forty-five, it becomes one one two seven point two five centimeter cube. Right, guys? Now, it. In the beginning it said the volume of the sugar syrup okay so now we have volume of sugar syrup it was 30% of the volume 30% of volume so that means 30 upon 100 into the total volume is 1127.25 so that means this and this is gone so if we multiply 3 into 1127.25 and then divide it with 10 it comes as 338.17 centimeter cube or you can write 338 centimeter cube approximately right guys this is your question number three and uh, it is a continuation we just got the value of uh, one gulab jamun the volume of one gulab jamun and later we uh, in the question it was said we have 45 gulab jamuns multiplied it and then we used the question again 30 percent of the volume was given there so we used it and we got the answer please make a note of this and it is a very important question guys let's move on to question number four Okay, guys. Okay, so the fourth question it says a pen stand is made of wood in the shape of a cuboid with four conical depressions. So we have question number four. It says we have a pen stand in the shape of a cuboid. Let's see what exactly the question is trying to say. This is a cuboid, and we have four conical depressions trying to understand okay so we have four conical depressions and now what else it says it says the dimensions of the cuboid so in case of cuboid L is equal to 15 centimeter B is equal to 10 centimeter and height is equal to 3.5 centimeter okay so we have three or rather four cones so they are like this that is the depression where we are actually having these four pens or even the pencils whatever so now what about the 
cone. It says the radius of the each of the depression is 0 0.5 and the depth is 1.4. So the radius of cone is 0 0.5 centimeter and the depth or the height is 1.4 centimeter. Right guys? Okay. Let's see. In case of cone, radius is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter and height is equal to 1.4 centimeter. What are we trying to find? Find the volume of the wood in the entire stand. So if we take these four out, so what will be the volume of the wood in the cuboid? So therefore, volume of wood will be volume of cuboid and we will take off these four things. So that is four into volume of cone. Volume of cuboid, length into breadth into height, four times volume of cone, that is volume of cuboid, I'll write here, volume of cuboid, length into breadth into height, and now volume of cone is one upon three pi r square h, length is 15, breadth is 10, height is 3.5, 4 upon 3 pi 22 upon 7 r is 0 0.5 so let me put as 5 upon 10 2 times and h is 1.4 so that is 14 upon 10 let's see if you can cancel anything here it's 5 1 2 2 2 gone then this 7 2 to 14 that's about it yeah 2 1 2 5 so here, what do we have? We have 15 into 10 into 3, 35.10. Then we have 25 here, or oh sorry, 22 here. Nothing left, yeah. And then we have three multiplied by five, that is 15. This and this gone. Now we have 15 into 35 minus 22 upon 15. So let us multiply and see what we get. Now we have 15 multiplied by 35, that is 5 to 5, and then 22 upon 15, that is 1.4. And we are talking about centimeters, so centimeter cube. So 525 minus 1.4 is approximately 523.53 centimeter cube. Right guys, so these are four questions of this exercise. We have a few more questions left in this exercise. So we will finish off those questions in our next video, in our next class. So till then, please do practice these questions and make sure you subscribe to the Porsche Coaching Classes as soon as possible and ask your friends to subscribe as well. You have a wonderful time. Please do practice so that you will get good marks in this particular uh, subject. So you have a wonderful time. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.